Guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's Luke at Hot Shot. I hope everyone's doing swell today. We're here back on Crusader Kings 3 for our run in this beginner campaign. Now, in, we had a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a mistake, you could say. So we managed to form the King of Ireland with our father, King Mercad. He led a very long life and had a lot of children. But unfortunately, uh, I've been playing Crusader Kings 3 and I've been um, watching it as well. Um, made a mistake. I enacted election, elective succession, which I shouldn't have done. Uh, I think there's a way... For us to have a look here. If we go over here. Um, so we put. A, the title succession. Will be inherited. According to the Kingdom of Ireland. Tanistry elective. Male preference law. Which basically means. That all of the nobles. Have to vote for who should be the next king of Ireland. Now, if we kill our nephew, let's have a look. Only a 21% chance. He has 6 in intrigue. I have 4. Can we get our spouse to maybe assist Assist is plus one. Caught Intrigue is plus two. So that puts us on five. And it doesn't help that we are honest. So yeah. Uh, the goal now is to try and regain the Kingdom of Ireland. And make it to a point where instead of having to elect someone. We can just... Our our heir, our son, our eldest son, will just take it over. But to do that as well, you need to... Um, I think you need high crown authority. Uh, difference between the previous levels. We can revoke titles and vassals. And rulers can change between partition succession laws. Okay. Okie dokie. We're currently unlimited. We don't have the royal prerogative. Which is... A civic innovation. See, I'm, I'm still learning, guys. I'm still learning. Um, go to realm and then succession here you go so our succession law as the du uh, the duchy of Ulster um, is all children inherit equally so basically what that means is that the country splits between all of my sons right and it's not on a single heir and this is really what you want. You want <clears throat> uh, primogenitor, which you need crown authority, high crown authority. Um, we need the primogenitor innovation so that we can act those laws. But that's, again, late medieval, which is 1200. So that's over 100 years yet. So we've still got a bit to go, but maybe um, we can get down there um so we need to find the innovation screen that's what we need to do encyclopedia is it here oh here we go so we're currently on early medieval uh anything we what are we working towards we're working towards the arched saddle which gives us armoured horsemen as men at arms and that's what the king of ireland is working towards now i don't think we personally 
So we need to be doing royal prerogative, but I can't enact anything because I am only a duke. I am no longer king. So we need to kind of usurp that title. We are second in line for the kingdom of Ireland. And I will vote for myself because a lot, a lot of people are voting for me in fairness. Because I'm the rightful, you know, I'm... I was the king's son, which makes sense. Understand that. Powerful vassals demand council positions. So, we got a decent council. We've got 16, 17, 14, 12, and 12. You are not good enough. You are not good enough, neither. And you, you're a bit of everything. You're better than my bishop. <clears throat> but we can't remove the bishop. As our learner. And this is the Liege's Council. So I've found where... I don't know what my music's doing. Uh, apologies. Apologies. Go back to council, sorry. So this is the Liege's council. So I don't know why I'm the chancellor. Because, as you can see, my diplomacy's crap. But obviously he can't get rid of his archbishop. Because he's a religious figure. Right? So he can't get rid of that. So to appoint me as, you know, I'm the probably the second biggest guy under him. He's got... Connect, which is bigger than me, Ulster and Linster under him, and then he directly owns these two provinces. Well, we're just going to have to let time tick on a bit, basically. Uh, um, obviously. Uh, that That's fine. Okay, so we need to start working on expanding our domain. We currently only have one domain. We could... Potentially revoke his title as an earl, but he wouldn't object because his opinion of me. Okay, unpleasant claim on Linster. <clears throat> uh, we shall get a unpressed claim on him. Should help us. Uh, but just showing you. Oh, they're vastly inferior. Apparently. But if I was to declare war on him, though. We got two allies. Who would basically be, be carrying us. Because, as you can see, all our levies are gone. So, I think we should go speed four. <clears throat> Let our levies reinforce a bit. And just, I guess... My wife, she's pregnant. Lovely stuff. Finally, Jesus Christ. Maybe improve relations with some of these guys around us. My last chance, Judith has decided that her time in Dunparag has come to an end. The servants have packed her bags. She has a claim on Dublin, but the King of Ireland has that, so we just allow that. <clears throat> Let her leave. Thank you for being here. Am I right in saying that we have men at arms? We don't have a men at arms um, regiment, which is basically in this game, that's your standing army. That's what I've come to learn. So obviously your levies are kind of like your regular civilians who decide they want to fight for you, but if you create a men at arms, they are a prof more of a professional and a very specific unit type that you do pay monthly maintenance for. Um, so that's cool. The Crusades are about to begin. That's lovely. Yeah, this my nephew's bethrown to her, but he's not 18 yet, so 
he doesn't have any children. Sting of rejection. You are a serene man, Damal, but I do not like you that way, says my wife. And crossed her arms. Only God knows what the future might hold. Okay, fair enough. Absolutely fine. So we will go ahead and start swaying you. Make him like me a bit more. He is poor. He has an infected wound. And he's severely injured. But he did have successful wound treatment, but he is now infected. My glory is widely known. Okay, so we have a daughter. We will give her a good Irish name. Marine. Sounds fine by me. <clears throat> So now I've got my first daughter. My, well, my first child. When she turns six, we will make sure to be her ward. I understand that. So we're working on the theology focus to become a scholar. Which gives us extra learning and development growth. Plus hostile and personal scheme progress. Is absolutely fine. There's an active election. Uh, one of my wives is pregnant. Lovely stuff. <clears throat> yeah, so how many people? One, two, three, four, five are voting for me. One, two, three are voting for. Um. He's my nephew, right? Yeah. So the, the king, who's my nephew, he's voting for his brother, who's older than him. Uh, okay. My wife, Duchess Edhild, is with child, and I should be overjoyed. However, she's been acting strange, and I cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. Um... She's a seductress. But she is deceitful. Um, she must tell me. Of course the child is yours. Why would you ever think otherwise? I only needed her to hear her say it. So our prestige is going up rather a lot. Because even though we are only a duke. We are on the lieges council. Which grants us two, two prestige per month. Aber's pregnant. So yeah, I hope everyone's doing really well today. I am too. And uh, yeah, I can't complain about anything. Can't complain. How is the sway going? I guess we'll go five speed for a bit. Okay. With the babe cradle in her arms, my wife looks up at me and asks, maybe we should name her Sancha after your modest acquaintance. I, I, I don't know her. But okay, name her Sancha. So now we've got two daughters. <coughs> and our primary wife is now Preggers. Finally, we've got a son, and we shall name him um, Lorcan. Yes, after one of our ancestors. And if we have another son, we will name him Damal. Oh, here's our daughter, uh, Beatrice. Our uh, dynasty is coming along rather nice. My nephew is still lacking a child, and I don't know why they aren't married yet. But 
They've been betrothed, but they're not married. It's a bit weird. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got another son. And he's robust. Nice, because my wife is Herculean. Or Amazonian, sorry. Herculean's for males. So, my son is robust. So, we'll name him after my father. Because he was a very, very prowessed and marshaled man. So, he's robust. That's really cool. Really, really, really cool. Um, have we swayed him? Yes, we have. We'll continue to sway him before they like me a bit more. You love me. He might accept, actually. Because he likes me so much. Oh, he's getting worse. He's going to die. He's 21. And he's got a two-year-old heir. And he's going to die. Aggravated wound. A failed treatment has aggravated it. Infected wound. Health penalty severe. Wow. Well, I guess that's good to know. Turn the master volume up a bit. Uh, okay, so we can get our perks. We can get cl uh, plant cultivation if we pause here. Development can grow. So I guess we take that. What percentage is that? 20% stress great again reduced chance of constraining contracting illnesses uh, we'll do planned cultivation then we'll go uh, wash your hands we'll go down here for a bit and then we'll go down and get scholar I think but yeah I've, the amount of support you guys have been showing absolutely insane uh, I can't lie to you. Uh, for every step uh, my primary wife takes towards me, I can feel my mood drop. What does the doxy want now? Nothing could prepare me for the temptation of her bare flesh as she moved her blouse. Undoubtedly courted. Fair enough. Yeah, you guys are insane with the amount of support that you're just showing on the channel. You, I can't thank you enough. I'm in the works of making a video today. Um, in how the channel did in August and stuff. So yeah, but make make sure to like and subscribe if you if you want to uh, keep up to date with all the videos. And make sure to press the notification bell as well. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not know who, someone is plotting to kill my wife. Well, who's trying to kill my wife? They've got a 5% chance because he's exposed. A claim on Ulster for months. Falaman, Duke, Comal's bishop has been digging up spurious contracts and fabricated histories. Now the Duke dares act if it's all amounts to a as if it all amounts to a legitimate claim on the earldom of Ulster. Lies and more lies. Unbelievable. Unbelievable getting a claim on me. How dare they? A sensual proposition. My wife, Duchess Jutter, has made her way into my life with sweet words and sweeter touches. Late at night, I struggle to keep my, her off my mind. The feelings smoldering between us will soon either burst into flames or die out. I want to dwell forever in the inferno. So we have sex and she might become the lover. Just have sex. Stress and it ends her scheme. 
seduce me. Uh, yeah, let her become my lover. Yeah, she is my lover. Lovely stuff. More chance of babies. We've already got five, and we're only thirty-two. And the, all of the all of them will come in like <laughs> a couple, couple years. And she's pregnant. But yeah, that's basically going to have to be it for today's episode, guys. If you've liked, please do drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Click the notification bell as well. Make sure you press all as well so you do, that you get uh, two notifications a day. I uh, hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.